Hey guys, I'm Natalie. Welcome to today's workout. We're going to be doing 20 minutes today, kicking off with a two minute warm up, doing 16 minutes of high intensity intervals. We'll break it down into four rounds, eight exercises per round using a 20 second high, 10 second rest protocol. You've got an additional 20 seconds of rest in between each rounds and finishing up with a two minute cool down. I'm going to use my five pound hand weights and a floor mat for rounds one and three. We'll just be using a single hand weight, but if you choose not to use any hand weights, that's fine. Just mimic the upper body exercises using your own body weight. Let's kick it right off with the two minute warm up. I want you to just do a little squat, jab to the front, suck the belly button into the spine. Try and be mindful of engaging that pelvic floor so that you've got a nice, tight, firm core. I'm kind of holding up the torso. Let's reach across the body, pivoting at the hip. Guys, if you don't want to jump around, I'm going to show you lower impact options. You're still going to get a great workout. Just come down a little bit lower in that squat and the pivot. Let's do three, two, and one. Let's pull down, bring the foot up to the back, give yourself a little butt kick, and if you like, let's pick up the pace. Easing the body into it. Getting that heart rate warmed up. I'm at like 125, 127. So I aim to get between 80 to 90% of my max. I usually hover somewhere around 85 to 90%, which for me is about somewhere between 150 and 160. Let's do three, two, and one. Nice wide legs. Feet at position 11 and one o'clock. Come down, drive it up. So try and come nice and low into the squat. Drive up through the heels, bring the arms into it. Engage those abs. Let's do three, two, and one. Come back up. I want you to just do a little jog on the spot, a little shuffle. And I'm gonna show you the first move. Just a single weight. It's gonna be in your left hand. You're gonna do a nice lunge to the right and then either a jump or a knee up. So come nice and low and jump it or a knee up. So grab your weight, get into position, abs are in, backs up tall, get ready to lunge to the right in three, two, one. Here we go. Lunge it down and either hop it up or just do a knee up. If you like, you could do one and one or you could just maintain the knee up the whole time. We're really gonna work out those shoulders today. Three, two, one. Switch hands, guys. Weight in your right hand, going to your left. Lunge down and either a knee up with an overhead press or hop it up. Here we go, lunge it down and you can either hop it up. So I'm just getting a tiny little bit of air off the ground or you can just knee it up. Go at your own pace. You may not be feeling it today or you may not really need to be pushing it that hard to get to 80 to 90% of your max. Whew. All right, guys, weight in your left hand, knee up to overhead press, rock forward into a deadlift and repeat. Here we go, knee up to overhead press, very slowly come forward into a deadlift if you need to. Tap that foot on the ground as you come from the deadlift to the knee up, otherwise if you can swing right through. Don't worry about how many you do, you can go nice and slow. Okay guys, switching legs. So make sure you're pivoting forward at the hip, you're not bending over. So think of it as a horizontal move for the butt. So knee up and then pivoting forward as the butt's going back. You're like one of those funny little toy drinking birds. You press and it bobs down into the water and back up again. Ooh, might be showing my age mentioning that. All right, guys, here's what we're going to do forward curtsy to a knee up. Here we go forward curtsy, knee up. So we're just going to rock forward and then back. If you need to without the knee up, you can just tap it. We're really working out the front of this standing leg. Three, two, one. All right, switch hands. So this time all the way to your left leg. Forward, 
to knee up. Here we go. Forward, knee up. So if you need to guys, you can just tap that foot back to the starting position. Otherwise, see if you can hover it. Let's work out those shoulders. Three, two, one. Okay, down on your mat. Come down, doesn't matter right or left. Now you can either have this bottom leg bent or stack the feet. We're gonna hold a plank and just raise the top leg. Here we go. Just raise it. If this is too much, just hold a side plank or drop this bottom leg and do the raise. And you can build up to doing the, the full side plank. Three, two, one. All right guys, switch sides. Might be getting you out easy today. I don't feel like we're, <laughs> we're busting a move on this first round. All right, here we go. Up we come. Raise that top leg. Don't worry, round two is a lot harder. So you can bend this bottom leg if you need to. If you have a hard time doing that, just hold a side plank. Try and keep your hips nice and high in alignment. Two, one. All right, guys, grab a drink. Both hand weights, feet, shoulder distance apart. We're coming down and either alternating knee up or down and explode up with a hop. Get ready, three, two, one. So squat down and you can either explode up or just do a knee up, depending on what you're feeling today. Both are great options. Make sure when you're doing that squat, you're really pushing that butt back. So have a peek down, make sure your knees are behind your toes. Okay, your right leg forward, left leg's coming back with the front raise and then into a deadlift, back into lunge. Here we go, so lunge it back with the front raise, gently come forward into a single leg deadlift, back into a lunge with a front raise. So we're pivoting at the hip, trying to push our body weight up and down using the top of our hamstring. Okay guys, switch legs. So your left leg forward, your right leg's coming back and then pivoting forward. Get ready, step it back into a lunge with the front raise. Now pivot forward. Again, it doesn't matter how many you do, engage those abs. You really need that core engage to maintain your balance. Keep a nice flat back, don't hunch over. Three, two, one. Guys, just watch, wide squat. We're gonna be doing a row and look at my feet. Heel raise, here we go. Just start to row. When you're ready, raise the heels together. If that's too much, raise one heel and then the other. Stay low. See if you can keep those thighs as close to parallel to the ground as possible. Raise them. Come on guys, three, two, one. Okay, keep this wide stance. Come down into a squat, arms out on a diagonal, and then alternating leg lift. Here we go, down on a diagonal. So they're not coming right out in front. They're kind of following to the four, not the four corners, the two corners of the room. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. Guys, pivot forward 45 degrees, come down low. We're gonna be stepping back, doing a tricep extension. Come low. You can either do alternating tricep extension or do them both at the same time. For me, I feel it more, or it's easier to concentrate if I do them individually. And I really give them a squeeze at the top, almost a flick of that wrist. Two, one. Guys, come down on the mat into forearm plank, just with your left leg. It's gonna come in, it's gonna go under, out, and push back. Here we go. Bring it in, pivot under, out, push it back. Same leg, in, under, out, and back. Now my foot is not touching the ground. If you need to, you can bring your foot onto the ground 
in between each in, under and back. All right, switching legs. This time, right leg. It's coming in. You're pivoting under and then back. Here we go. Bring it in, pivot and back. In, pivot and back. My floor is really slippery. In, pivot and back. A few more guys. Three, two, one. Well done guys, halfway through. Grab a drink and a single hand weight. We are repeating with a few surprise variations. All right guys, get ready. Here we go. Lunge it down, pop it up. If you like, just knee up. Halfway there. Keep those abs in, suck that belly button towards the spine. Two, one. Okay, I'm at 160. Switch weights into your right hand. Here we go. Lunge it down, pop it up. After this, we do that knee up with deadlift, which will feel like a rest. Come on guys. Three, two, one. Okay, weight in the left hand. Left knee and arm up, pivot forward and then back up. Here we go. Knee up, arm up, pivot forward. Find a spot on the floor to concentrate on and really focus on driving your body weight up from the top of your hamstring where the hamstring meets the glute. Abs are in, squeeze up from this area. So you really wanna drive it up from here. Switch legs, right arm, right leg, and then rocking forward. Here we go. Let's bring everything up and forward. I'm a little bit more wobbly on this leg. Really engage that core. It certainly feels like a rest. Three, two, one. All right, guys. This time, rear lunge. And we're going to explode up as we come forward. So small V. Here we go. Rear lunge with bicep. Explode up. With an overhead press. Rear curtsy lunge, I should say, guys. Sorry. If you don't want to explode up, you can just either knee up or tap. I'm sorry. I should have said that at the start. All right, guys. Switch legs. So coming back. And you can either knee up, tap, or explode up. Here we go. Curtsy back and explode up. Or knee up, or just tap. Like snuck out of an overhead press. Three, two, one. Okay, side. Forearm plank with that leg lift. So you can keep this bottom leg bent if you like. Otherwise, stack them and let's go. Keep these abs in. If that's too much, just hold side plank as well. That might be enough. You wanna keep this hip high. Don't let it drop down. If you feel it's dropping down, just stop the leg lift. Okay, guys, switch sides. And then we've only got one round to go. I'm at 160. Here we go, up into side plank. Lift that leg, nice and controlled. You're not flying it up there. You're very deliberately lifting and lowering, keeping those abs in, everything nice and tight, everything sucked in. If you get too much, just hold it like this. That didn't make sense if you're losing your balance. Sorry guys. Still getting too much from me by the sounds of it. Okay, grab your hand weights. We're gonna do that squat and either knee up or the squat and the power up. 
Make sure you're pushing your butt back. Here we go. Squat. Arms are just going to come to a bicep curl and then hang by the side. You can knee up if you're getting tired. You could do one and one. Whatever you like. Push that butt back. Have a peek. Make sure your knees are behind your toes. Okay. Weight on your right leg. Left leg back into a lunge with the front raise and then rocking forward. Here we go. Rear lunge with the front raise. Come forward into deadlift. Straight back into a lunge. Straight forward into a deadlift. Make sure you're bending that back leg down into 90 degrees. Bring it as close to the floor as you can. Okay, so when you come back, make sure you're bending this leg. It's not coming back straight. Get ready. Lunging back with your right leg. Lunge in, rock forward. Again, try and pull your body up from this deadlift using the top of your leg, the hamstring, and that bit where the butt meets the thigh. Driving through the heel if you can. All right, guys, wide this time. We're gonna do an upright row. Look at my heels. I'm raising my heels. Come down low, here we go. Try and get those thighs as parallel to the floor as we can. Upright row. Guys, on the next one, I want you to hold it up. Hold the heels up and just pulse, nice and low. If that's too much, just keep doing the heels up. Two, one. Okay, wide legs, feet 11 and one. We're gonna do the sumo squat, right, left leg, knee up. Here we go, sumo, knee up. Drive that knee up as high as you can. Come down all the way into that squat. So your legs, or as close to parallel to the floor as you can. Three, two, one. Okay guys, three more to go. Bend forward 45, come down. We're gonna step back with the tricep extension. Here we go, step it back. Either singles or doubles. I'm gonna stick with singles. I can just concentrate more on making sure that each Extension is performed correctly. I give my hand a little flick at the top. Five seconds, then come down onto the mat. Two, one. Onto your mat. Forearm plank, starting with the left leg. Left leg's coming in, under, back, and out. Here we go. In, under, out. So I'm keeping this left leg hovering the whole time. You can put your foot on the ground if you need to. If you get tired, drop to your knees, have a rest and then get back into it. All right guys, right leg, last exercise. Happy days. Three, two, one, coming to plank. In, under and back. If it's getting too much, just hold plank. Drop to your knees when you need to and then come back up into it. I need a different floor cleaner, I'm sliding everywhere. Two, one, and done. Guys, I'm always so surprised when I get to the end. <laughs> okay, right leg forward, press through that left hip, open it up, left arm up in front of the body, grab it with the right arm, push back against it, really pushing through that hip. I know every time I can't believe I get it to the end. <laughs> okay, rock forward into a hamstring. Don't worry about how far down you come, just keep a nice flat back and go as far as you need to to feel it. Okay, push forward through that hip again. This time left arm up, push down with the right for a tricep extension, stretch. <sighs> Breathe, rock back into a hamstring stretch again. Keep this foot flexed, guys. You get more of a stretch, tap into it. Okay, switch legs. Left leg forward, push through that right hip. Right arm comes up across the body. Left arm catches it, push back against it. 
Rock back into a hamstring stretch. Make sure this foot's flexed. Good job, guys. Round one was a little bit easy, but I think we made up for it in the rest of the rounds. All right, push forward through that right hip again. Right arm up into tricep extension. Stretch. I'll have to make sure I don't let you out so easy in the next one. Okay, rock back into hamstring stretch. For some reason, it felt harder when I was practicing it. I mustn't have been feeling it that day. All right, guys, come into a nice wide stance. Come to one side of the body, stretch out that leg. Walk the hands across to the other side, or maybe your hands up here on your knee. Okay, come to the middle. Hold it down here. Just breathe, let your head hang down. Bend your knees, scooch your feet in towards each other. Knees bent, slowly, slowly come up. One vertebra, vertebrae at a time. If you need to go, guys, thanks so much for joining. If you've got 30 more seconds, let's just do a couple of more stretches because it seems like I just can't squeeze the stretches into two minutes. Okay, let's stretch the other quad. Let's stretch up and over one side of the body, looking under the armpit. Then the other side. And then pull back on the arms. And guys, if you want to do more stretching, stick around. I'll also do a quick segment on what I do with the foam roller. So usually at night while I'm watching TV, I'll spend maybe 15, 20 minutes doing foam rolling exercises for my quads and my hamstrings, butt, my back. So I'll do a quick video on that. So you can use the foam roller or maybe use some a tennis ball or a, or a softball just to roll out those muscles a little bit more a couple of days a week. Thanks for joining. If you've got any comments or suggestions, please leave them down below. Make sure you eat well today and I'll see you next time.